Hi ladies and gents, so today I'm coming to you with a Dollar Tree haul and let's get started. Um, let's start with like non-beauty items. Well most of this is like beauty items slash hair. So let's start with non-beauty items. The first thing I got was Wiggly Monster Eyes, and there's 60 in here. So you get different sized um, googly eyes. You get, and the colors in here are like blues and orange and green and purple. So yeah, they're different sized uh, googly eyes. And I was thinking of using these in slime. So yeah, perfect for Halloween. The next thing I found and got was this um, scare scarf, which is just one of these gauzy scarves that has spiders and spider webs. I figured I would just use it as a hair scarf because I don't wear scarves around my neck that often. And I prefer to put them in my hair. Um, the next item is um, some Home Run Brands bandages. And I found these in Wisconsin. So these are for the Milwaukee Brewers. And this is not my home team, but... Uh, I don't even know if New Hampshire has a home team. If they do, I don't know who it is. And yeah. So I'll probably keep one for myself, send one to Heckerdoodle, and then give the rest to a friend that lives in Wisconsin. Yeah. The next item that I got was a pair of just a dollar. Dollar Tree sunglasses, which look like this. They kind of look like a um, Ray-Ban style, and it's the tortoise shell kind, which is like the, you know, the reddish brown with the black spots in it. So that's like the tortoise shell style. And the day that I got these, I was out shopping with my friend and we got matching pairs. So yeah. The next item that I got was a spa house um, naturally moisturizing tea tree mint shampoo. I figured I wanted to give it a try plus I was in Wisconsin like I said and I forgot to bring shampoo. So I needed some shampoo. It actually smells quite spearminty, and it does, the scent lasts all day, pretty much. Um, the quality of it is very thin, kind of. It's not watery thin, but it's not thick. Um, this is a good one for, like, in-between washes. If you have to wash your hair, but you don't want to wash wash your hair it's like kind of like in between washes if that makes sense kind of shampoo so yeah the next items are all beauty related so i'm just going to dump this out and start going through everything um i think i will start with the only oh and the I forgot one thing. My friend got me this um, Day of the Dead magnet, which is a 3D one. I don't know if you can see that. But the teeth open and close. And the eyes glow. Yeah, you can see that. But that was my other non-beauty item. And let's see. Let's start with the only e.l.f. product that I have in here, which is the Wet Gloss Lash and Brow Clear Mascara. 
And like it says, I'm probably going to use this like on the days that I don't want to wear mascara. But I still want my eyelashes to um, be look like they have mascara on it. Or to tame the brows like it says. So yeah, this is a good product. I've had it before. The only two Maybelline products that I have are from the Maybelline Color Tattoo Pure Pigments 24 Hour Wear. And I got the shades Never Fade Jade and Black Mystery. Now I already have a Black Mystery and I recommend it if you do find it because it has like a duochrome shift of like a turquoise -y thing. So yeah, the next products are all from Milani. So yeah, I'll start with the Milani Liquid Colors. I did find all four of that day that I got them, but I decided I wouldn't wear the last color because it's too bright. And I prefer like the reds or the purplies or the hot pink colors. And these are, I chose number one, number two, and number four. So I didn't get number three. I got number one, which is Red Extreme, which is this color. And it does say Red Extreme, so it is a bright red. I did swatch them before. And depending on how much you put on and if you blot them, you can see that's the, it does give you a shine, but I'm sure it'll dry back matte once it dries completely. Number two is called um, Pink Rave, which is like a hot pink, plummy purple, -y, hot pink color. This is a color that I think my grandma would like because she likes the hot pink colors. And that's right here. And then the last color is number four, which is Violet, Af Violet Addict. And this one is like a... Um, a, um, a nice... A uh, violet -y color. It would almost work as a nice lip for um, if you're going to do an Elsa color for the eyes and then you want like her purpley lip. I think that would be perfect for her purpley lip. So you've got Red Rave or Extreme, Red Extreme pink rave and then the last one closest to my knuckle is the uh, violet addict right now they are all wet looking like gloss but I think once they dry they will become matte the next four Milani products that I did get were the Number one, number two, number three, and number five of the Milani Power Lips. The other ones weren't my style because they were all the light pastel-y colors. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of the pastel-y colors. I like more of the berry to red colors. And I got number one is Red Control. Um, these actually, if you put them on very lightly, instead of making them into, they are like a lip gloss, but, um, they are a very pigmented lip gloss, and you barely need any to cover your whole lip. 
almost treat these as an OCC lip tar because that's how pigmented they are, which is awesome. So this is Red Control. Um, the next one is called Cabernet Blend. And this is like a deep purpley color. And this one, I almost want to say there's like a shimmer to it, almost. Yeah, it's got a light shimmer to it. And that was number two. Uh, the next one is Raspberry Tart. Yet again, it's another nice Elsa lip color. And then the last one I got was called Macaroon. Like the French Macaroon color. And the tube looks like this. So my suggestion would just to be using these like an OCC lip tar. Because a little goes a long way. And that's the macaroon right at, right here. So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoyed this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe if you like my videos. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!